there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video. Uh oh, uh oh. Yeah, I was going to do it in the car, but man, it's kind of dark out. But anyway, side dudes have the best perspective. <laughs> oh man, I haven't pissed off anybody in a long time, so I, 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 I know I'm going to piss off some people. But if you really want to know that the game, sometimes don't always ask that person who deals with the surface of things, right? Because see, on the surface, you, you, you do have to have, on the surface, you do have to have a decent amount of looks. You just do. Or, you know, body, whatever. You, you have to have, make some money. You have to have some status because, see, on the surface, it's about being a good husband or boyfriend, right? You know, on the surface, it's about that woman taking you out, you know, taking you out with them, you know, and hanging around her family, family and friends, you know, being able to uh, show, you know, being able to see each other on, um, you know, social media. You know, you can be in the pictures, this my man is like, oh, you love him and everything, right? The side dude, though, it don't really matter. Now, check it out. The side dude, see, funny thing, the side dude don't have to have money or status because the woman ain't going out with him. She don't gain anything from him. The side dude's sole purpose is to blow her back out. Think about it. His sole purpose, so he don't have to have money or status, right? He don't have to have money or status at all, you know? Because he don't have to take her to dinner. He really don't. When women cheat... It's rare they go out to dinner or something with the dude if they cheat. You know? Only it, and when I say it's rare, only time you might see it is if the woman's in the process of divorce or something and don't care what her husband find out. Right? But in most cases, his sole purpose is to have sex with her. So he's the back door man. All he has to do is be intelligent enough to get through the back door. Right? He don't have to have a good looking face because when we talk about looks and stuff, right? When we talk about looks, we're really talking about a man's face. He don't have to look good to people. So he can be a busted dude, right? The side man, all he has to do is uh, be able to mess with it. So he can be a butterface with 10 inches, you know, and a decent, you know, decent body. In fact, usually they have a decent body, right? And, you know, I've told, I've told guys, I say the guys who are getting the most play aren't always the best looking. Because that's not what they bring. They bring in dick. And a woman ain't, they ain't gonna be making love to that woman. You know what, honestly, he ain't gonna be making love to that woman looking in her eye and telling her how wonderful she is. Her head's gonna be in a pillow, his hand gonna be on her neck or pulling it, and he's gonna be hitting it from the back hard. His sole purpose is to make her scream, right? His sole purpose is to make her scream. So, that's all he needs, but also what he has a better, he has a perspective that's different from the regular guy. Because one of the things he can spot, he got, well, he got two things. He can spot the type of woman who will be ready to cheat, right? Let me tell you a story. I remember it was a good uh, female friend of mine. I lost contact with her. She was cool people. She got me some business and everything, right? And I remember we were someplace, we had a uh, vending thing. Right? And I was talking with her, right? And, you know, she's a good person. And I said, hey, uh, as I was, it, at first it was just a minute conversation. You know, you blase, blase. And then I looked at her and I said, as I was about to walk away. And I said, look, I said, look, you take care. You like vulnerable as hell to cheat on your husband. And instead of getting mad at me, she said, Mom, you're right. And then we talked, we sat there and talked, stayed in that spot, talked for an hour. Because I know the look. Because, like I said, let's let's just be clear. Well, Uncle Rom was, wouldn't have been considered one of the good guys. Right? In fact, y'all have never heard me call myself a good man. I advocate for good men, but I've never called myself one. You know, I like to think I have good qualities, but, you yeah, know, when I was younger, you didn't want me around your, um, you didn't want me around your girlfriend. <laughs> you really didn't. But, you know, that's the thing. You saw, you can spot it. In fact, there's certain things which I don't give publicly. It's like you can even encourage her to cheat. 
because you of course you can spot it right so that's one thing you can read the situation but another thing something about you look like you would tear her ass up in the bedroom it's a look it's a certain look like a lot of guys got to understand and I've talked about this in different videos right a lot of guys it's not even so much as looks but it's the look do you look like you a good husband or boyfriend that's how a woman gonna play you you look like that type who's respectable in public that's how they're gonna play you look like that type who you you know you just gonna be a demon in the sheets that's how they're gonna play that's why I like a lot of like scuzzy dudes some of them are dusty dudes you know, look like they couldn't get a regular job, but just something about them. They just got a primal thing. You know, they probably have a bunch of tats, hair all wild, you know, just something. Just something. They might have something that make them look dangerous, but that turns on a woman. That's all that matters. And it's the energy of it, you know? It's the energy. Like a lot of guys, and see, a lot of guys don't understand that, right? A lot of guys don't get it, well, because they haven't lived there. But as a result of a man being in that position, they're actually the best ones to ask about shit. Seriously, they're the best ones. Like, if you know a dude and you notice that, like, if you see a dude, right, look, here's something to look for. Like, if he's in a public place and you got a bunch of women with their men around, but they all looking at this one dude, right, he'll probably know. Because usually in those cases, too, and this gets into a woman's nature, usually in those cases... The woman makes the move towards him and not the other way around. So a man, he see, he's going to see a woman's true face because she's going to have to show him her true face in order to actually make something happen. You know, she can't be faking on that, you know, she's like the soccer mom, good wife and everything. No, nah, she, she got to let him know and she probably got to make the move because, believe it or not, in most of those cases, even though I talked about... Uh, just mentioned that a guy might be able to pick up on something and even encourage something. In most of those cases, this is the woman who makes the move. She chooses. She chooses. She do something because she realized she wearing a ring and, you know, that might scare the guy off. Not all guys, but the guy in particular that she wants. So she won't have to make a move towards him and let find a way to let him know that she's down. You know? Like one of my favorite ways a woman to do she'll cause she'll she'll start complaining about a, a boyfriend or husband. She'll just say, you know, oh they've been together too long or she'll talk about them but it's in a negative way. She letting that guy know that she damn. You know? And, man, I've had some women, they just tell you straight up. They just tell you straight up. It's like you understand when you're dealing with that, and that's kind of like some of the underworld stuff I talk about, they don't have time for games. They they want it. Now understand, if you understand that perspective, you understand that thing called game way better than the average person. See, most dudes out here trying to learn how to be the good surface guy. They don't, even if they think they being a player, like some dudes think, oh yeah, that guy got all the women around him, that's the player. No, it ain't. The player, that guy in the, in the uh, corner trying to like stay low key. Because any any true play, any, anybody, and you know what too, any guys who talk about, oh yeah, they slept with 200 women, 300 women, any of that. If, ask them one simple question, ask them how many women have husbands or boyfriends. And if they say none, they lie. You don't mess with that many women without messing with somebody uh, who's uh, in a situation. One, one thing or another. But they're going to have that perspective. Right, they they going to they going to still have that perspective, and they still want to do things a certain way, right? So like, ask them. It's a totally it is totally different from what you think because, like I said, most of what's out there, most of the information deals with the surface. All right, this deals with it. Like like I said, money and status don't mean anything. He don't have to have it. She ain't she ain't cheating for money. Women don't cheat for money. Now they lie and say they cheat for emotional connection or something. That's just to like. They don't want to come up and say, no, I'm, I'm cheating because dude got eight inches and you know what to do with it, All right? And they ain't trying, typically ain't trying to have a child with the dude, so, you know, his facial features, yeah. The biggest thing they'll have is like a good body, probably a better body than their husband and a sexier attitude. And also just that, you know, I don't give a fuck look in the sheets. Look, he'll look like a freak. We don't say that because but let's just be real. And any street dude gonna know what I'm talking about. He just gonna look like a freak nigga. 
You know, just the type of motherfucker who just gonna be whatever. You know, <laughs> you gonna be whatever in the bedroom, coming off the chandelier and shit. You know, grinding on the like kitchen table or some shit like that, or slamming it against the wall and go da 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 da. You know. So, and you know, even have that same energy. That's, but, yeah. So anyway, that's it. Wanted to share that for today. Get back with y'all later because these lights are hot than a mug. Talk to y'all.